This video will walk you through using Mapillary street level imagery within OpenStreetMap's ID Editor. Mapillary greatly enhances information you have available when editing an area, allowing you to add more detail to the map. You might add info on building characteristics such as the type, purpose, occupancy status, the number of floors and the street number. Road characteristics, what is the gradient? Is it bike friendly? Is it a one-way street? What is the quality of the road like? Is it a residential road or is it a primary road? You can also add details on land usage. What kind of park is it? What are the available amenities? And how many berths and moorings are at the marina? There are many more ways Mapillary can enhance your mapping. But put simply, Mapillary puts you as close to the location as you can be without actually being there. Let's take a closer look. When you've logged into OpenStreetMap, zoom into the area of the map you're going to work on and click Edit. On the right hand menu, select Map Data and check the box to enable the Mapillary Photo Layer. If you're in a supported area, you can also enable Traffic Sign Overlay, which shows traffic signs that have been automatically detected from within an image. We'll go through this later. When you enable the Mapillary Photo Overlay, yellow location markers appear to show where an image has been taken. Additionally, each marker shows the field of view in the image, which is taken from the recorded compass angle. When you click a marker, the selected marker will turn orange and a preview of the image will appear in the bottom left corner of your screen. You can navigate to nearby images using the arrows that appear or using the directional keys of your keyboard. Clicking the arrows in the top left of the image moves you forward and back within the series of images by that contributor at a given point in time. This is what we call sequences. You'll notice that the orange location marker updates as you navigate between images. If you want to take a closer look at the image, click the Mapillary link in the bottom right corner of the preview. Now let's do some editing. In this particular area, you'll see that editors have done most of what they can achieve using satellite imagery. We're going to add the next level of detail using Mapillary images. We saw the Folks Universitat sign in the image, so give the building a name. We also saw it was two stories high, so let's give levels a value of two. Let's add the key amenity and select college as the value. Let's take another example. We're now in Western Sweden, near the border with Norway. Selecting this boardwalk, we can see that few details have been added. Let's enable the Mapillary Photo Overlay, as we did before, to see what we can add. After looking at the image, we know we can set the surface type to wood. The path is currently listed as yes for bicycles and horses. A more appropriate value would be dismount for bicycles and no for horses. The visibility of the trail is excellent. Now we can go ahead and save this. Finally, let's look at some of the computer vision magic that runs on every image contributed to Mapillary. In addition to seeing the images that have been contributed to a given area, we can look at street signs that have been detected within the images. These detections can help in identifying one-way streets, the max speed of the area, and other road attributes. Take this one-way street in Knoxville, Tennessee. If we enable the Mapillary Photo Overlay, we can then enable the Traffic Sign Overlay. A no right-hand turn sign has been detected, and if we click it, we get a preview of the image it applies to. Taking a closer look in Mapillary, we can see that it applies to this section of Forest Avenue, with 20th Street being a one-way street. In this case, someone has already added the turn restriction. Many other types of traffic signs can be detected, with support for Australia, Brazil, Canada, Europe and the United States. If you would like to add another country, feel free to contribute to Traffico. I hope you enjoyed this quick look at using Mapillary images in ID Editor. If you liked this video, follow our social media channels to stay up to date, see amazing photos from around the world, and to tell us what features you'd like to see next. Links are in the description below. 
Most importantly, help us visualize the world by downloading our apps and taking your action cameras for an adventure. As always, happy mapping.